All right, let's get into it, man. Oh, man, hope everybody had a good Mother's Day, man, and hope everybody enjoyed the festivities over the weekend. Amir Khan going to sleep uh, versus Canelo, man. I um, already knew that that was going to happen. Um, I should have put my predictions up, man, because I already knew that that was going to happen. Uh, I gave him, I gave him uh, at least six rounds to be running away, moving around, moving around. I don't like to call it running because it's not running if you're trying to box and move. Uh, you know what people have to understand, man, is that you know once again, you know this is a a hurt business, and it's all about sticking and moving, hitting and not getting hit. You know that's what it's about, and. Uh, Khan tried to do that. He, he They took a page out of the Floyd Mayweather blueprint um, versus Canelo. He did a lot of sticking and moving. I was surprised that he was moving his head. Um, he was slipping punches, you know, uh, and he was moving. But the thing about it was is that Khan wasn't turning, turning um, Canelo like he should have. His footwork is improving, you know. He's improving. I, I'll give Virgil Hunter that. He is improving. He is moving well. He's learning how to defend himself, you know. But I knew um, Canelo was going to close the distance. I knew that Khan was going to get tired because what you have to understand is when you're putting on weight in a short amount of time like that, when you're putting on weight, you know, you have to give your body time to adjust to the weight you know you have to give yourself time you can't do the things that uh, you were doing at a lighter weight naturally you're not going to be able to do it like that you know yeah you can yeah you can still jump you can still do push-ups you can still do sit-ups you can still do those things but it's going to be a little harder because of the weight you know you gotta you your body has to adjust um to picking it its own body weight up so he didn't have a long enough training camp for that. You know, he should have if I mean, he didn't know he was going to get the fight, first of all. So, I mean, I mean, if you knew you wanted to move up and you wanted to test somebody like that, you should have been walking around for a little while, you know, um, in the 150 mark. You should have you should have uh, you knew it was no other options for you to make money. You knew you weren't going to face anybody like Thurman. You knew you weren't going to face Errol Spence. You knew you weren't going to face Porter. You knew you weren't going to face these guys that are up and coming uh, as the as the top guys in the sport. You knew you weren't going to do that. So uh, you knew you were going to move up. You knew you were going to try to face stiffer, stiffer composi uh, opposition. Excuse me. Um, you knew you weren't going to face Laura. You knew you didn't want to get in there with, uh, what's my other, Kel Brook. You know, you've been you've been running away from these guys. So, and plus, your reason for not getting in there with them is the fact that they're not marketable enough. They're not going to make you any money. So, you knew you were going to try to fight somebody like Khan. You knew it. You know, you could have even took on a, a Adrian Broner and made a little bit of money. You know, but now nah, he wanted to get in there with Canelo Alvarez. And, I mean, he already knew. And then at the end of the fight, he wanted to try to give himself props for getting in there. Like, as if, <laughs> as if to say, you know, uh, there was no way I was going to beat this guy. But, hey, I gave it a shot anyway. You know, at least I stepped up and did it. You know, who else is going to take on the challenge? You know, Floyd already took that challenge. And um, schooled that dude, you know. And even if he took on the fight uh, for his 50th fight and gave Canelo a rematch, you know, because, I mean, honestly, let's just be real. Floyd doesn't have that many options. He doesn't have that many options to come back and make a million-plus dollars. He does not. He can rematch Manny Pacquiao. He can rematch Canelo. And he can, he can make a little bit of money, you know. But coming back for Danny Garcia, coming back for uh, Thurman and those guys, you know he he's barely gonna gonna make a million dollars. You know people are not gonna want to watch that. Boxing fans are gonna want to watch it, but they're not gonna be able to sell that to the casual fan. Um, like for instance, Canelo Khan. That was good for boxing fans because you know we I mean we're gonna we're gonna watch it. 
we're gonna watch it, man. Whether we're gonna watch it over the internet, stream it, whether we're gonna uh, pay for it, we're gonna watch that fight. You know, um, it doesn't matter. We're gonna watch all fights. You know, the cars were good. It was an entertaining bout, but the things that that guy got in there and did wrong, man. You know, was I told you, he didn't monitor his weight, and uh, you know, you got to be training. You know, you got to train for for sixteen. 15, 16 rounds, you know, with that type of weight on you, you know, and you need guys that's going to come in that's going to be at least uh, 15 pounds heavier than uh, than what you're used to in your training camp. You can't get guys that's going to be at the at the 150 mark, you know, or, or maybe 160. You know, you need guys that's going to come in at 180, you know, and, um, and lean on you, you know, because... Con, I mean, Con, uh, Canelo was probably on fight night, man. If they came in at, what, 155, 154, something like that, say 155, you know, you know he came in 10 pounds over, you know. Uh, he was at least 160, 160, 165 on fight night. Trust me, you know. So, you know, Con, man, he, he went to sleep. You know, I saw it coming early, early, early. You know, when Khan would be throwing his, he would be throwing his little, his little flurry. <laughs> you know, he'll be throwing his little Manny Pacquiao flurry and, and jabbing all quick. You know, and trying to move and trying to move. You know, ducking under. I would notice Canelo was coming over the top. You know, with the right hand counter, and he was throwing the left hook. So eventually, I knew he was gonna get to Khan in the later rounds. I knew it was going to happen between uh, 6, 7, or 8. That's what I had predicted. I'm like, he's going to be gone by the 7th round, you know. But he went to sleep, I think, in the 6th round, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, man, uh, that's the review on the fight. Uh, we didn't ask for that fight. That ain't. That's not something that we wanted. That's not something we demanded as the public. You know, it wasn't entertaining. It was entertaining. It was, excuse me, it was fun to watch. But, uh, you know, we need stiffer competition. There is nowhere for, for Canelo to go right now in this sport. Yeah, he can fight Thurman and these guys. He can, he can fight them and he can beat them. But the public, the boxing public, the boxing fans do not want to see that guy in there with anybody else except for Triple G. That's it. He has to get in there with Triple G now. You know, Triple G has to get in there with him. I don't want to see Triple G in the ring with nobody else, period. I don't care how they put it together. It's got to happen. It's the biggest fight that the sport has to offer, whether it happens um, in, in November, December, or whether it happens sometime next year, which I believe is going to happen sometime next year. Those guys can have a tune-up fight in between or whatever, but that's all it's going to be considered as. Fans want to see him and that fool, uh, uh, Canelo, get in that ring. That's it. We got to see both of them get in there. Triple G and him get in that ring. I mean, he called him out. He tried to put on the show and... Say uh, Mexicans don't f around and all this stuff. You know that was entertaining, man. I, I mean, I I loved it because I'm a Canelo fan. I'm I'm a big Canelo fan. I'm not hating on Triple G, man. You know, but uh, I've lost a lot of respect for him over the over the months. You know, and over the last few years. You know, with this HBO stuff. I know it's not his fault. You know, I know it's the hype beast that's hyping up the beast. But he's accepting it, you know, the same way Pacquiao and, and, and others before him were, you know, is it, I mean, should he do it? Yeah, he should. Yeah, he should. You know, but that doesn't mean that I have to like it, you know. So I'm tired of the hype, you know, and a lot of people feel that Canelo is hype, you know. So at the end of the day, let's see what's going to happen. They have to get in the ring, man. Anyway, man, I'm going to close this video. You know, I apologize for not doing it on Sunday, man. You know, I know I got people that watch. It's not that many people, but, you know, I started to do it um, Saturday night, you know. But anyway, I'm going to close this video with this is how it looked when Khan went to sleep, man.
Peace. <laughs>